Hello and a very warm welcome to Come Dine with Keys. First up is Tom in the very fetching shirt and Alex, well, he's the one with the quiff. But Tom, what are you to attempt, <clears throat> I mean cooking, today? What we're doing is um, making spaghetti bolognese. And, well, almost. Um, and it's going to go incredibly wrong. <laughs> and, um... It's nice to hear your it's optimism, Tom. Hand. <laughs> oh, no! Alex! <laughs> and less than a minute into the cook, it's chaos in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> this is so appalling. How could you be so stupid? You stupid boys. You've probably gone and lost your student loan now on right, fines right. after leaving that mess. We got the kitchen and yeah. look how happy their guests look. <laughs> but how are they feeling oh, about the bedlam? Um, Do you want me to put it on a plate for you? A plate to what? It's one each. I can hold it. I can hold it. Yeah, I mean, we can. Happy, I guess, but scotch yeah. eggs for starter. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't their looks say it all? Oh, the embarrassment, Tom. We can feel it too. <laughs> yeah, can we uh, have a word? What's this? Starter has barely been served and there's already cliche reality show tension? You weren't supposed to use these scotch eggs because they were mine and they're for tea. Why? What am I going to eat now? Well, what was for starter? Oh, there wasn't a starter. I didn't think that much. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> You're on come dine with keys, chaps. Shame on you for forgetting. Okay? Yeah. Watch our poor <laughs> cameraman, Alex. <laughs> and as our abused cameraman tries to make that starter look as appealing as possible, What's this? Modern technology? Is that someone calling up a typical student takeaway already? But we haven't even seen the main meal yet. Whereas Tom seems too oblivious to notice. Oh, and here's our cameraman trying to make raw meat look appealing for the telly. And as Tom giggles, is there finally order inside the kitchen? <laughs> um, I spoke too soon. Yeah, that looks really awful. I don't have a colander. Demonstrating your knowledge of cooking lingo perfectly there, Alex. Right, put that in there, yeah? Um, did you get any in the pan? What? Did you get any in the pan? What? Are you blind, Tom? Just look at the state uh, of that hob. Mix it with. I have a spoon. Well, I'm standing next to one. Obviously, you two came uh, very prepared for this show market. today, didn't you? Oh, it looks so good, I could what? chuck, <clears throat> I mean, eat it. That's it, Alex. Get stirring. <laughs> it looks like death. Let it simmer for a while. <laughs> OK. So what's simmer? What number's simmer? And as the bolognese simmers and our cameraman tries to get yeah. another arty shot Ow. from above, surely nothing else can go wrong inside the kitchen this afternoon. <laughs> Alex! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to buy a new one of them now. <laughs> buy a new one, you can pick them up for a quid, Tom, down at the local pound store. Oh. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe The guests are that. loving this, aren't they? I didn't know That's it was the on. Stupidest thing you've ever done. Smoke and mess. What a great first impression. But more importantly, how does it taste? A bit too hot to handle, Tom? Actually, considering you two are students who can't cook, that's not oh, bad presentation right. at Thank all. Thank you very much. Thank you. It smells very Italian. Great observation there from the lady in white. Watch it. Ooh, taste buds, nice. brace yourselves. Doesn't it look so lovely in the pan? It actually looks quite nice. Ooh, the expression says it all. I've never cooked raw meat before, and now I know. But... <laughs> 
Hold it together, Alex. This is your serious moment for the telly. That is very worrying. Somebody told me throughout, through uh, in the middle of this experience that if you cook meat and you put raw meat in cooked meat, apparently that's an issue. Uh, I think we've gathered that. And as for the verdict <laughs> and scores? There was a lot going on. Yeah. I didn't think we'd ever get to the end, uh, but they did. And yeah. overall, I mean, I've eaten out in loads of places before. Uh, you know, and had dishes like this. Yeah. And it wasn't bad. It tasted fine, but, you know, the pasta was a bit overdone. Mm. Alex did mix raw and cooked mince meat. I don't know where I stand on that. I nearly set the place on fire. I nearly set the place on fire, yeah. Mm. Uh, but apart from that, push all that aside, and you've got a nice bolognese. You know, and you can't nice deny it. And a nice. Would give them a four? A four. I would give them a... Because we haven't seen the rest yet, so I'm going to give them um, a five. I'm going to start off in between. I'm going to give them a five. Very generous scores there. But next up is Ross, who likes a bit of everything, and Jamie. But is this love? <laughs> Who's the what? He's the grill. Uh, I've got a pepper. Aww, um, so cute. Oh, not going but what's really cooking? Uh, chicken and bacon lasagna. Yes. Um, with a side of um, potatoes. Sweet, sweet. Pota sweet potato wedges. Yeah. Ambitious plans indeed. Hey, and get this, there's even a dramatic cooking commentary to go with it. So basically we are just preparing everything to go into the lasagna. So we have to chop all the veg up, chop the chicken up cook the chicken and bacon and just kind of get everything ready to assemble the lasagna at the end. And as Keyes' latest oh, yeah. bromance blossoms, it seems to be going rather well <laughs> indeed. Almost a bit too well. <laughs> the camera ops back, making food look nice again for the telly. So, uh, funny story, um, I actually set my house on fire once before. Ha ha ha, hilarious. Ha, ha. <laughs> Lovely sticks. Well, considering so, we're using my flat. I know I'm the fact that you've chosen to tell me this now. I know, I've learned from my mistakes, but it was quite a traumatic experience, and I did have to put the fire out with a fire extinguisher. So, um... Well, don't do that today, because yeah. my smoke alarms are broken. Awkward. What's your general opinion on the other contestants? Why aren't you thinking that Becca and Kate will be up there? Go on, chaps, have a goss. Well, I mean, they could be the dark horses of the competition. I've not heard what they're what they're making. Um, That's very modest of you. You do realise I know neither of them are good cooks. I did not know that. I do know they don't like to handle raw chicken, so that could be an issue. Mm. So, with that fear of chicken in mind, the lads continue on with the cook. I'm really happy now. <laughs> Hang on, is trouble on the horizon That's here? Another point lost. <laughs> Oh Food God. fight! Oh, this is a designer jumpers! <laughs> <laughs> Just watch our poor sound man, will ya? Um, right, so the next thing we've got to do is we've got to do our sweet potato fries. Mm. And mm, what we're going to do is drizzle them with a bit of oil, but we're also going to throw in a little bit of seasoning. Um, this is getting very so technical now, Ross. Good. I'm impressed. We're just waiting on our lasagna sheets. We're having a nice little warm bath there. They'll be ready in five minutes. Well, oh, I'd love a warm bath with you. Ooh, saucy. So here's some more artistic shots of the lads putting together their perfect lasagna. Go and spoon me. <laughs> you can feel the love on Ross's face right now, can't you? But is there a problem on the horizon? Well, we just had a small problem. We've got to just sort these lasagna sheets out and then we can put the lasagna in the oven. Nice. Just a sprinkle of mozzarella to go before it is time to crack open the beverages and get the dinner party started. Look at them sharing that bromance over a bottle of wine. It's almost too cute to handle. Well, at least the classy Welshman approves. Don't spoil it now, Ross, drinking from the bottle. Well, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Well, we don't know what Roger and Martin are going to cook. So I think that's a bit annoying because yeah. I think they're going to go all out. We don't know what the girls are going to cook either. I would worry about that. Are you sure about that, Ross? Cook on the bird. 
Uh-oh. Jamie, how long is that? Uh-oh. Hopefully uh -oh. around 10 minutes. Uh-oh. Uh, what's happening? It's cooked. Hurrah, Ross. Really cooked. Bloody... Really Watch Jewish. your language now, Ross, a family show. Shall we both do it like we're coming? Yet, yeah, despite the food fight, this lasagna from the chaps oh God, looks know, pretty well, good. But so of course, good. it's not up to me, it's over to the taste buds. <laughs> oh, an encouraging cough there. Now, we don't want anybody else bringing it up now, do we? I think she's on the wrong show. But how do the other two think it went? I think we might have won. Do you think? It's not good me. Well, the fact that Brad was so happy with the, the alcohol and food combination that he passed out hey. off yeah. camera. <laughs> I know, yeah. The, I think that was a good sign. <sighs> yeah, I think we've done well. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too. I'm proud of us. Yeah. <coughs> oh, give it a rest, chaps. So the cook went well. But what do the other two think about the food on offer tonight? I think we're a strong contender. Yeah, definitely. I really do. I think it was a beautiful meal. The only thing Ooh. that held it back was the lasagna sheets. Do you think? They were just a bit, you know, if they were a bit softer, I think. I like the crispiness. I would have been able though. to cut all the way. Ooh, get you of your cooking lingo. I had to kind of find the flavours in my meal. Which I, I don't like to do. But when I did, gorgeous. Um, so. I, Obviously, what everybody wants to know, the rating out of 10. Uh, yes, 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 please. Points combined between yep. us. Um, mm -hmm. but Go on then, get know, on with it. Visually, we can only give it uh, a rating out of 10. I'm going to give it... Yes. I'm going to give it... Go on then. A 7 out of 10. Well done. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Interesting. I yeah, a seven. A yeah, seven out of ten, yeah. Okay, we're seven. decided. I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. We match. Okay. I was thinking I, like I was yeah. genuinely I thinking think a seven. It, it it was very good, um, but at the end of the day it is a lasagna. Uh it, a know, lasagna. We're, we're not talking something yeah. international well, it is <laughs> Italian, but you know, we're we're not talking something amazing. Here. We're talking about a yeah. Home I think it was a very lasagna. it was a very basic meal. Yeah. But they switched it up and added a few things which worked really well together. Yeah. So a grand total of fourteen out of twenty. Fourteen out of twenty. Yeah. Well, well done, done, guys. Well done. That was good. A very respectable score indeed. But let's meet our third contenders: Roger, who just knows, and Martin, who's a nice guy. <clears throat> Modest. And already they seem to be breaking the bank with the wine. We are cooking a chicken and chorizo paella. <laughs> so we're going to prep all our, our ingredients first. Um, so we're going to cut everything up, all the onions and the garlic. Time to do the onions. And then we'll do the chorizo and the peppers and then the chicken. Just so that um, everything's ready to go and we can just throw it in when we need it. So the prep's the longest bit, really. Very ambitious plans indeed, but can they pull off this very special dish? That candle. Oh, I'm not sure if Brad is too bothered yet again. My eyes. <laughs> it's nice to see that Michaela is taking everything in her stride. Chances of winning so far at the moment, I think, are quite high, because so far everything is going well. I've not put my hand up so <laughs> on my arm. Uh, so what, what have you done? I've not cut my arm off. Like nice that. to know, yeah. sir. Yeah. 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 yeah, not done that yet, so that's okay. And secondly, um, things are going quite well, yes. And we've not forgotten anything either. Going Some almost too well. We haven't. <laughs> and here's a shot to make it look like our contestants know what they are doing. It makes it very easy. You might have to turn the ring on, yes. Spoon that out. Oh, they do know what they're doing. Put the chicken in. Chicken's gone in. Right, so the chicken's in and that's gonna brown off. Um, then it's the chorizo 
rice and all that stuff. So it's quite a quick dish to, to make. It's that easy, I might even cook it for myself one day. And this is going to feed a lot of people. There's a, there's a lot of it. Maybe better preparation? So, so Mark's going to stick that in. Gradually. And as the chorizo goes into the pan, here's another one of these arty shots from our camera operator. Our contestants look so chuffed with themselves, don't they? And then some. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Little bit. You can measure it out, I don't know, but I just put it in my hand and... Always the best way, guessing to <coughs> poison <coughs> your guests. Oh, oh more wine. wine. There's a surprise. Oh, look at that. Hello. Okay, I'm rolling. Okay, so the water's now reduced, mm -hmm. as you can see. Um, I'll probably just show the pan to the camera. It's reduced. There's no water in it. Straight from the freezer. You, you look at your freezer. A bowl of... You should have thought. And, um... Dinner will be served. It looks that good, I could eat it. Welcome to the kitchen, <laughs> Matt is cooking food. <laughs> Cooking in the kitchen with a wooden button spoon. I'm with Martin, that Martin, is Roger. We have guests. Great yeah, entertainment for your guests, by the way. <coughs> Not. Yeah, I, think on a good I think it's 12. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you meant to have a glass or five. That's cool. with a paella. <laughs> no. On the arms. <laughs> Ah, oh, the table is set for a romantic dinner for two. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless. Do you want a drain or should I drain? Serve it up. And after a quick strain, dinner is served. Okay. Almost. <laughs> right. Where are the spoons? Big spoon. Yeah, it's doing it. Right. How did you? Thank you. Wow. Mm. Oh my god. That looks delicious. You see, I wasn't wrong, was I? We're really pleased with uh, with the results. Um, they seem to be enjoying it. Um, and we've got plenty left over for everyone else. It's fine, but isn't it? Yes. Um, we best to know the floor. Right. Oh. Mm. oh. <sighs> Same when you're done with the shots. Oh, and Oh, the face says it all. But what's this? Dessert? They're spoiling their guests. Am I doing it right? Yeah, because it melts. Oh! It's, it's all right. Oh, and it was going so well. We've got some chocolate mousse. Oh! Wow! Something exciting you there, Brad? I oh, don't no. Just trying to lift myself up. Yeah. Oh, that was insane. Yeah, we're all right in your own time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That do you think was it has me. anything to do with this? Possibly, but I don't think it has. Um, I think they've got you drunk. Sorry, I'm just trying to process the dessert. Um, that, that was. was oh, you naughty boy! Ah, so oh, wow. Yeah. I couldn't finish it. It was that good. Out of ten each. Um. Yeah. I... Go on. Get on with it. Uh, well, no. I tell you what. You. Shall you, I go first? You go first, because I went first last time. Ah, yes, ladies first. An eight. Yes, we're all ready to go. An eight. Okay. I'm... That's it. Smile your troubles away. I, I'm going to give them, because that was very good. I am going to... I don't know if I'm being too generous here. Um... No, not at all. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give them a, uh, a nine and a half. <gasps> mm. oh. yeah, you so, so and so. A nine and a half. That was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed. What? <laughs> well, I saw it. Hang on, there's deliberation in the voting room. It was, it was amazing. Room. You didn't provide a dessert like that, did you? And while those two bicker, let's meet our final contestants, Rebecca, the bossy director, and Kate, our glamorous presenter. We're going to be making fajitas with <laughs> um, What chicken, an original peppers, dish. Onions and like fajita sauce. We're doing it for the girls. <laughs> we um, are doing it for the girls. <coughs> doing it for the girls. Go girl power. I have like half of that. Uh, you sure you don't want a full glass? Because you might as well. Oh yes, I'm pretty <laughs> sure about that. 
We had quite a lot yesterday, um, and as a result of that, boy, do Nikki we know? Is no longer with us. She hasn't passed away. She, she's, she's just. Oh, um, well, thank God for that, Brad. Of alcohol that we drunk. Um, I am still continuing, brave and strong. Um, but, Round of uh, applause we'll, for you, we'll, Mr. We'll Bradley Harris. So with us, we've got, of course. Um, <laughs> The king of well, sorry, the queen of food, uh, my <laughs> yeah. my dearest Antonia. She she is no, uh, a bless. hard judge to impress. So uh, good luck, girls. But um, you're also on the wine tonight. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Bit of a bad decision there, love. What are you today. expecting from this today? Go on, hun. Really you know. can be honest. The still not been defrosted, so. Because Mickey's been quite picky oh, over the past she? few days, so I'm just you know. I'm kind of banking that you'd be the same. This is we'll the last see. one, we'll see. so it's kind of it's 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 all systems go, it's all hands on deck. Well, with that in mind, let's see how they're getting on in the kitchen. Do you leave that like that or no? Oh yeah, and here's the camera up doing oh, some arty shots of the food again. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Oh, and can you remember how earlier on we told you about that fear of chicken? <laughs> the poor love's getting a bit freaked out, isn't she? Uh, it's cold! No, uh, oh, it's so oh, relax, it's just a dead bird. <laughs> that does not feel oh, right. It literally feels like something else. Yeah, all right, we know you're on telly, love. Keep it real. The time Oh, well, yeah, because I had chicken on my hands. <laughs> So if we provide you with some sort of salad and meanwhile in the oven, it's coming on quite well. Oh, they look good. Wait, do you not think I think it might need a bit longer? No, okay. Oh, no. But of course, this has come down with keys, so how does it taste? By the looks of things, not bad at all. I hope so. And back to the kitchen, here's another arty shot of the chicken cooking. Oh, and then there's the peppers too. Is that, that booze I see? This is cute. Oh, your whole chicken That is it. Oh, didn't it look so good? Now we're going to convert two of the of it. This is too much pressure. I've done it, I've fixed it. Where can we do it back? No, don't. Antonia, how does that look for you? It looks like a fajita, which is a good point. Like a good starting point because uh, we've had a bit of a nightmare watching this, so. I hope for your sake, love, it is worth the wait. And with a sprinkle of cheese, fajitas are oh served. <laughs> Much to the joy of Mr. Bradley Harris. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. And as the guests took into the main meal, it's time to prepare dessert. Low pack. Uh, yeah. The concentration the right on now. these girls' faces are almost too much to bear. That can't burn. That's burnt now. Meanwhile, when you fix it. the table <laughs> is set for something mm. <laughs> sweet. Yes. Okay, that's not really working, man. Oh my god, these are, these are huge. I think we should win. Plus, we provided entertainment. And you thought that was enough to win the competition, idiots. girls? Yeah. So, I think we're on point for a good win. Yeah. No. And with that, it's out. time to score. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go through each You're going to keep us all night uh, again, Brad. Start of the main and dessert, and then give an overall mm. uh, rating. Go so on. With the nachos, Get on with it. Slightly burnt around the edges. Mm. I'm going to give it an eight. Actually, I don't think that was fair because they were really nice. Yeah, they were, but they if, were burnt. If, if they hadn't been burnt, I would have probably given them like a 9.8. But because yeah, they were burned, I'll give an 8.5, 8.5. So we'll go for... Well, I'm going to go yeah. for 8, yeah. So 8 and 8.5. Okay. okay, so what about the heaters? The heaters are really good. Yeah, mm. really filled me up. Um, I'm... I mean, it did take a while for the heaters, didn't it? But I mean, the chicken was very good. But then it was worth the wait. Anyway. And the cutlery as well was a nice added addition. It was very Victorian-like, wasn't it? So, uh... Uh, an eight and a half. Eight and a half, yeah. is that it? Mm. Wow, generous indeed. Okay, so pushing the boat, yeah. So we've got a nine there. So you've got yeah. 8.25 8 and then a nine. Oh, wait, we right. haven't and finished then the yet. Dessert. Well, let's be honest, that the was dessert. a bombshell, wasn't it? 
Absolute bombshell. I'm going to give Ooh, it a two. Ooh, harsh words indeed. Yeah. The strawberries were very nice. Strawberries are great, yeah. Um, apart from they were... Uh, well, they yeah, well, right, Brad. Enough of your negativity date. now. Uh, no, they yeah. didn't. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They didn't. The strawberries oh, were um, fantastic. Two and a half. The strawberries were great. I wasn't sure about the chocolate because it didn't taste that melted chocolate. Cool. And it was meant to be melted um, chocolate, but never mind. But no, I mean, good, good effort to Ray, give off. Glad you yeah. It was very nice. It. We had a starter main and dessert, which yeah. was very nice. To pull that off is, is tough. Nobody else provided a starter. I mean, you weren't there for the rest no. of it, but nobody else actually provided a starter main and dessert. And they Thanks also then. provided wine so as well. So what, what number for the effort? Effort is, you know, full full house. It's fantastic. So effort 10. Hang yeah. on, is this girl yeah. inventing a whole new scoring system today? Nine. The pudding's mm, yeah. about five somewhere. I'm going, I've, I've got a number in my head and I've had this number, number since uh, halfway through the cooking process. But you can't do that. Uh, she's yeah. right, Brad. No, no can't. you can't do I that. I can, because I knew it, it was kind of heading. Did you? Um, and I am going to give them a nine. Ooh, out of ten. get you. And there is my score. Antonio? I think. Can I just say, this is the final, the <laughs> final round of Come Down With Keys. So, whatever you say now, but I think the tension the is just killing me right now. I don't know, because I really enjoyed it all, and I thought it was really, okay. really nice. Yeah, get but it on But I it. think the chocolate let it down, because it wasn't chocolate. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what it was. <laughs> I can't believe chocolate. Oh, come on, just make a decision now. <laughs> well, it was, it, was, it, it was chocolate in some sense, mm, but it wasn't yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what I was expecting. So I'm going to give, I think, a nine. We must oh accept gosh, your first nine. answer, darling. A nine, a nine point two is mine. Oh, I nine think that's point nine. two. And <laughs> with with that um, with that score, um, I think Who's we the winner? can officially announce that Kate and Rebecca. Congratulations. Well done, girls, you and you win of nothing. Conduct. And let's leave the final words yeah, to yeah, Mr. Bradley Harris. Now. Well, there we are then. That is officially the end of Come Dine with Keys. Four places that we visited, but uh, I'm afraid there was only one winner, and that was just Rebecca and Kate in there with a lovely, you know, uh, starter, main, and dessert, and they came out top trumps with 18 and a half points. Personally, I would have gone with Roger and Martin's uh, choice and what they provided, Ross. And Jamie, fantastic effort there. And Alex and Tom, bit of work needed maybe. But you know, Rebecca and Kate, they really did pull out all the stops tonight. Um, you know, overall, had a fantastic time. Um, unfortunately, Mickey couldn't be here with us to celebrate the end of the programme. But uh, there's been a lot of wine consumed, a lot of food eaten. I think it's time uh, to go to bed. Uh, but I am full up, I've got a food baby. Uh, and that is it. Well done, Rebecca and Kate, you are the official winners.